Okay, start. Okay. Sunday, July 26, 2015. I'm producing an educational video for veteran surgery for vets about tail docking. Now, I know many people are against tail docking, but uh, we, we, we in Top Air Vets don't do tail docking unless really necessary. Now, in Poodles in Singapore, uh, the owners need to tail dock the, the poodle because buyers may not buy. Now, now the, the technique of tail docking is this way. Now, this is the tail of a less than three day old poodle. So you measure half and then three quarter. So three quarter is the length because you need to produce a pom pom. The groomer needs to produce a pom pom, which is the, the nice uh, hair coming up after grooming. So if we cut too short, if we cut too short, the groomer cannot produce a pom pom because there is no space for the hair to to uh, grow. After grooming, normally those uh, owners they they see the poodle with a pom pom. This is called pom pom. It's the hair actually, uh, and uh, it looks quite nice for for some poodles. So that is a pom pom. So if we cut too short, there is no 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 length of the tail for the pom pom the hair to come out. So this way I recommend the three quarter. This for poodles. Huh? So we measure then a half, one quarter, one quarter, then three quarter. What you do is you, you use the scissors, the sterile scissors, you place at 90, uh, 45 degrees, then you move the skin inwards. The top part of the skin, you your, your scissors move it inwards and you cut. So after you cut, you'll find that the upper end is longer. So upper end longer, you can stitch. You do a cross stitch and you close up. The assistant will press here to stop the bleeding. Assistant will press here and here and the bleeding will stop because the blood vessels come from these two lateral uh, blood arteries and veins. So you stitch up. And after you stitch up, there should be uh, no more bleeding. Now, this is the one day old poodle which had been uh, which had been uh, tail dog the stitch is here, the cross stitch and as you can see there's no bleeding stitching is better than potassium permanganate now potassium permanganate you can use as well but uh, it's not so clean you can see that uh, the length is a uh, one quarter one quarter length and so when they grow up, they have a pom pom at the end. Now this is a cross stitch, three zero absorbable. And uh, these these poodles are one day old. The best time to do is one day old actually, yeah? because uh, when they grow, when they are more than four days old, they are very thick, and it's very big uh, the blood. There's a lot of bleeding. So you can see there's no bleeding, and the poodle goes home. Now I'm going to talk about. The other type of tail docking, Jack Russell's, Rottweiler's and Silkies. Now in general, Jack Russell's, Rottweiler's and Silkies, there is a brown black junction. If you look at the, at the bottom of the tail. So when you cut, same thing again, you just follow this junction, the brown black junction, and then you put your uh, scissors here and turn so that you, you have the skin again. You have the skin, the upper part of the skin is longer, same thing as here, longer, and then when you cut, you can stitch and cover the bone. When you stitch and cover the bone, because this part will goes down, and then you, when you stitch, the whole thing is, is a, is, it comes down and covers the, so that the hair can grow from here. If you cut straight, if you cut directly like this, 90 degrees, then there will be a bone here. There will be no hair. There is no hair here. Here, there is no hair. So it looks very uh, not, not so good. No hair because you, you cut straight. So when you stitch, there is not, not much space to stitch. So the bone will be exposed. This one covers the bone. Covers the bone. Okay, finish it.